Hello guys and welcome again to the channel. Hope y'all are doing well. On today's video is a review of this new plugin by the guys at Casrock. This is emulation of an Avalon 747 SP. This unit is obviously a stereo processor unit which now you have available in plugin format. So this is a tube compressor with you know more like a graphic EQ here which they call program equalizer. So I actually have a little history with this unit back in the days. I think that was in 2011. I wanted to invest in this unit, obviously the hardware. And the EQ was what actually put me off then because, you know, this band is already pre-selected. So you can either boost or cut. You can actually move them around. But the compressor really sounded so well, if I remember then, because, you know, you have option to engage the TSP, which is more like a twin signal part, which runs it through tubes, or you can, you know, disengage it so it doesn't go through tubes, but rather just a discrete class A amps. So let's quickly look at the features, guys. You've got your input here, down the bottom here, you've got attack, release, you have your threshold, and then this is where you engage the twin signal part for tube or discrete class A amps. Then you've got a sidechain threshold here. If you want to use this as a sidechain, you have the low frequency and high frequency, and this is where you get them in. You can turn it in or off. This is the sidechain listen. Then you've got your compressor ratio here and your makeup gain here. So you can also have the compressor in or have it off. Now the EQ obviously is just straightforward. Like I said at the beginning, you know, you don't have option to actually change the frequency. It's already been pre-selected. And when you put your cursor there, it tells you where it is. So you can see here, it says 15 hertz shelf. That's 125 hertz peak. Same as this, 500 hertz, 2K, 5K, and 32K shelf. So these two obviously shelf, that's also low shelf. And this 32K shelf really opens up mixes, if I remember then, just that, you know, Anyway, let's just have a listen to it instead of me, you know, going on and off on what would have been. So this is the output and you can engage the EQ here or have it off. You can obviously turn it off here or on. So let's quickly have a listen to the unit and I'll actually tell you guys what I think about the plugin. Let's get into it. So one other thing I actually forgot to mention is you might hear sound deep here and there because I'm actually running the demo version, which the one of the limitation is the sound will go, you know, mute for a few seconds now and then. So 
So as you've heard the unit, it actually, you know, sounds good, but you know, it still falls short of the same limitation you have with plugins, whereby no matter how nice they sound, they still don't quite, you know, recreate that round low end you get with, you know, analog hardwares. But in terms of the sound, I think these actually have the sound from what I remember. Just that the roundness you get on that low end, the warmth is still not quite there. But this, I will actually give it 8 over 10 in terms of, you know, the sound and the behavior of the hardware unit. So apart from that, one other thing that I actually didn't quite like is the way you can actually get this demo plugin. Come on, this is 2023, the guys at Kazrog. For me to actually get this demo plugin, I have to put the email, put address and postcodes and whatnot, just to download the demo plugin. And coupled with the fact that even the demo plugin I'm putting all this to download has got limitations there, whereby it dips the sound now and again. Like you have other companies whereby they actually give you say 30 days free trial, maybe 14 days or whatnot and the plugin will be working 100% for that duration. After that, then it goes. So I think on that, I'm actually gonna give them four, or should I say three over 10, because it's really appalling in 2023. Come on, guys. So coming to the EQ, the EQ is really nice, but I feel like the same limitation I had back then, whereby it doesn't give you option to obviously move around the frequency. So you have to just, you know, make, with what you already have as you can see these ones are say 5k but if you wanted to put a shelf on 7k you can't you have to either go 5k if you want to put a shelf on 12k because you know typically you like around that 12 to 16k like you have on a poor tech because it opens the mix a lot more better but with this if you want air obviously this 32k shelf will give you that so i think if you have a nice say tube compressor already something like a very mu you know like a manly very mu or something of that nature like the fairchild that's really good then i don't think you really will miss a plugin like this but if you don't have any nice tube compressor yet then i really think this plugin will do you good because you're not only buying a tube compressor because i think this compressor really sounds so good for a plugin obviously but you now have option to also, you know, add a touch of EQ here and there. Then you can obviously use your parametric EQ to supplement if you need any other thing. So I think that's it, guys. If you have any question about this or want to try out the demo, go for it. So I hope this is helpful, guys. Obviously, this is my personal opinion. So if you have your own opinion about the plugin or the hardware, so be it. I really... We we'll appreciate if you guys will like and subscribe to the channel and also hit that super thanks and super sticker because it does help the channel. And if you have any question about this, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. Until next time, bye now.